In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this part in this drawing. It's uh, part 7 of section 7.2 section views. I'm going to start off by creating a new part. and a new sketch on the XY plane. I'm going to draw a centered rectangle starting at the origin and the width is going to be 2.885 tab the length is 3.5 tab enter Create another uh, center, centered rectangle, and the width is going to be 1.015 tab, and the height is going to be uh, 2. And one more centered rectangle starting here, and the width is going to be. 0.313 times 2, that's 2 times the radius. I'm going to draw add a dimension here. Uh, from here to here is uh, that is equal to 0.5 plus 0.313. I'm going to use the uh, trim command to edit out some of the, these lines that I don't need. And hit escape and then I'm going to delete the rest of these remnants. I'm going to draw a line from uh, approximately here to uh, here and I'm going to add some dimensions from uh, this line here to that point. And that dimension is uh, 2.5. And I'm going to add an, another dimension from here to this point here. and that dimension is 0.69 and uh, so I'm going to um, project the uh, XY plane, you notice it's this line here, I'm going to project this line in construction geometry and you can see I have a, a dotted yellow line here I'm going to turn off construction geometry and I'm going to mirror this line on this mirror plane hit apply hit done and then I'll use my trim tool to trim away this material here And I'll hit the uh, Finish Sketch button. Then extrude out uh, one inch. I'm going to use my Fillet command.
and make my fillet uh, 0.313. point to that edge there and this edge here and hit OK. I'm going to create a sketch on this surface here and I'm going to turn on construction geometry and I'm going to project this plane again right there and I'm going to draw a point approximately there and then I'll dimension that point from this edge and that is uh, 1.062 uh, finish my sketch and I'm going to put a hole and uh, it's a blind hole like this. Uh, the diameter is 0.255 and the depth is 0.562. And hit OK. I'm going to create a, a sketch on this surface and going to turn on project construction geometry and I'm going to project that face. Uh, I'm going to draw a line from this green point straight down. Hit escape. And now I'm going to turn off construction geometry and I'm going to put a point at the center line at this green dot here, the center point of that line. I hit check. And I'm going to do another hole and the whole the diameter is 0 0.375 and the depth is 0 0.750 and hit OK I'm going to use my chamfer tool and uh, that chamfer is uh, 0.06 and it is on that edge on that edge you hit OK I'm going to set this as my new front view. I'm going to create a drawing. Place my base view. Set the scale at 2 to 1. Just a front view and a uh, side view and an ISO view. I'm going to Double click on this view here, edit it, and I'm going to change it to um, change it to one to one, and turn shade it on. And I go to my annotate tool. I'm going to select my center line tools, and point to that circle and to this circle here, and I'll this one also. Escape, and I'll go in and um, point to this line. I'm going to extend it out to there, and extend this one out to here. I hit Escape, and I'm going to create a new uh, section view. Uh, point to this view, and then point to this line, and uh, this line. Right mouse button, continue, and place your view up here. I'm 
going to go to my annotate tool again and uh, I'm going to point to this radius here go to dimension and point to that radius go to my hole tool and point to this tool here to that hole and to uh, this hole here okay zoom out and I'm going to re reposition my views I'm going to use my chamfer tool. I'm going to export this drawing to PDF and submit it to LMS to complete the assignment.